Do you remember this NAS server from the previous videos with Unread installed? Unread uses a flash drive as an OS drive and we installed it on this USB 3.1 32GB SAND drive disk drive. Well recently the server started giving me some errors wherein the docker containers would just freeze and when I checked the drive it listed many errors and the worst one being that the server refused to boot after restarting it. Now if you face this problem today and your symptoms for your under server are similar to this, welcome to PC Hardware Therapy where we will focus on fixing our flash drive. Now there might be other reasons you might want to replace your flash drive and one of them being it might not be big enough anymore or you lost it or worse someone stole it from your server it can happen so stick around if you want to find out how you can replace your unread flash drive but first let's try to fix the flash drive if you can still access the server from another computer let's make sure that we have the latest backup for this flash drive as this will increase our chances of having less issues in the configuration now on the main page in Unread, go to the flash drive and click on the flash backup. Now this might take a few minutes depending on the size of your configuration and the state of the flash drive. But after the process is done, save it in a safe place on the computer you are accessing it from. Once the backup is done, it's also a good idea to take a screenshot of the drive configuration to validate later on. As a general recommendation, it is also a good idea to keep your unread flash backup online as it will help you in case your flash drive is completely dead or stolen. Now, if you have this option enabled, make sure that this backup is up to date. And you can go to Unread Connect, verify whether it's up to date or not. And from here, you can also download a fresh backup by clicking this button. Now we shut down the server and put the USB flash drive into another computer to run ScanDisk to fix errors. Now in Windows, go to Tools, Error Checking, click on Check to try and repair the drive. Now sometimes it will show error repairing the drive, but try again. Then Windows will try to repair the drive once more and it succeeds. Just to be sure, run the check one more time until it shows there are no more errors. Now let's go back to the server and see if it fixed the drive. Well, as you can see, it did help a little bit. There are less errors, but not all of them were fixed. So as a precaution, we might have to replace this drive. But before we do it, let us take another fresh backup of the flash drive as it might be better than the previous backup we took before fixing with SanDisk. Now since our drive was failing as a replacement I went with an industrial grade 8 gig USB 3.1 flash drive with PSLC storage meaning it contains pseudo SLC storage NAND flash chips for that extra durability and peace of mind. Now this thing ain't cheap it comes around 64 euros for an 8 gig drive I'll put a link in the description if you're interested I think it's worth it spending some extra money for an industrial grade drive for this purpose. Let's insert this new blank drive into our Windows machine where we will have the backup of our current unread flash drive stored. Now in order to prepare our drive, we have to download the USB creator tool from unread website, link in the description. 
save and install the tool first and then run it. Choose the backup we created earlier, click on the choose OS option and then use custom. Select the backup file, in storage choose the new flash drive and press next. Now we need to give all the details of our server. Now if you don't remember the IP address of your server in case it doesn't boot anymore, you can either check your router where you made some reservations or any other computer that connects to the server with that IP address. Once you enter the details, press yes on the are you sure message and now it will flash the image to the new flash drive and it will open the flash drive with all the files of the server. As soon as you put the flash drive in the server and boot, it will display a registration key mismatch error. In Unread, you can only have one valid flash drive. So what we have to do is press on replace key and it will ask you to sign in into your Unread account to confirm replacing your key. Now this will effectively blacklist your old flash drive and whitelist your new flash drive. Now our key has now successfully been replaced to the new flash drive. As you can see, we cannot replace it anymore ourselves within the next 12 months. So if you had the misfortune of two drives failing within a year, then you would need to contact the Unraid support. Now we go back to the main page and see if all our drives show up. We will pull up our screenshot which we took before and check if all of our drives are configured as they should be. Once that is confirmed, we can start the array Give it a couple of minutes. And hooray! Our server is back up and running on the new flash drive. Now let's check the logs of our new flash drive. There are no errors whatsoever. Now that we are up and running, let's make sure that we create a fresh backup of this flash drive in this configuration. And another thing, when you replace your flash drive, by default the online flash backup is not enabled even though you had it enabled before on your previous flash drive. So you will have to click activate again and make sure it is up to date. As we have seen today how you can fix or replace your unread USB flash drive in case it has failed or it's about to fail. If you like this video, give it a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. That's all we've got for now. See you again in the next one. Bye.